Okay, we are now four hours into this maintenance session. What's up everybody? Welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well. A busy day today. I have a big task ahead of me. Something that I've been putting off for way too long already. And uh, that is the tank here next to me, the 7 liter scapers tank. It hasn't been trimmed in a very long time. Uh, we are now in the beginning of September and I just checked the last time I trimmed the stem plants was halfway through July and the last time I trimmed the moss was halfway through May so let me show you how the tank is looking right now. So this is what the tank currently looks like. From a distance it actually looks quite good but when you get a little bit closer uh, you see that the stem plants are quite overgrown like they're starting to grow towards the front because there's no more space going up. Um, over here they're actually starting to grow out of the water already uh, yeah, the moss is completely overgrown. There used to be like this big gap in between the two uh, moss rocks. Yes, there's actually rocks underneath all this moss. So yeah, the, the moss needs a big trimming and that's that's a lot of work with this aquarium. And there's a little bit of algae as well. You know, like there's some algae on the glass. There's a little bit of hair algae in between the moss over there. And it's gonna take quite some time. So there'll be loads of time lapses, but I'll stop once in a while just to give you guys a bit of an update of what's going on. So let's get started. Our first job is to uh, remove a little bit of water and then start trimming the stem plants. And once the stem plants are trimmed, we can start with the moss. Alright, there's all the stem plants trimmed. I have everything right here. I'm gonna cover these with some damp paper towels and then we can sort it out maybe later today or maybe tomorrow. See what we want to keep, see what we want to replant. I would like to replant some stems in the in the background because it's a bit empty there. I would like to have a little bit more volume. So we can uh, we can sort that out later. Okay, I'm just running a little uh, Eheim skimmer here just to get rid of all the floating particles that were in the tank after trimming the stem plants. Because the next job is going to be to trim the moss. And this is uh, Phoenix moss, Fisidens. And this is, yeah, a lot of people like this moss and a lot of people always ask me if I'm selling it. So I'm thinking to, yeah, just give it away to some people or like sell it for a small price because I have loads of it. And I'm going to take out so much today. I can't keep it all for myself. So yeah, why not make other people happy with it, you know? So of course I want to give clean moss. I don't want to give moss with, you know, different types of plants in there. So just trying to keep it clean here and then we can start trimming. Okay, so I'm currently draining some water. Um, I'm going to try something new. In the past, when I had to trim the moss, I would always trim it underwater and that works but it also creates huge mess, you know, because the moss literally just goes everywhere. And then you have to siphon it all out, which takes ages. So I'm gonna try to actually cut it or trim it when it's above water. So I can just like pick it up, put the scissors in there, and hopefully that creates less mess and should work a little bit faster. Uh, so yeah, let's, fingers crossed, let's hope it works. All right, that's actually working quite well. A big portion already trimmed and nothing in the water yet. So that's good. <laughs> Look at all this. Look at all this moss. It's absolutely insane. Also in the back, I'm literally just ripping it out because on the back side, you don't even, yeah, you don't see it, you know, and it's just taking up space and it's blocking light from the stems and blocking light from the hair grass. So in the back, I'm literally just ripping 
completely patches off of the rocks and even there it will grow back and I'm sure a lot of you guys are thinking like Mark what are you doing like that looks horrible you're, you're destroying such beautiful moss but don't worry this will yes it will look ugly for maybe one maybe two weeks but it grows back quite fast and uh, I'll overlay footage from previous trimming sessions yeah it always looks bare for a little bit but it always grows back beautifully so don't worry okay making good progress but now we have a issue because I can't drop the water level anymore and the bottom part still has to be done uh, I can't really drop the water level anymore because we have a lot of fish in here still and on the back the substrate is quite high if you can see that so yeah this is the maximum I can drop the water level um, just for the fish to be safe you know so we just have to go the old-fashioned way Okay, so trimming that lower part instantly creates a huge, huge mess. That's okay. I think the best part is to just fill it back up with water now, because I can't, can't really see what I'm doing anymore. Yeah, fill it up, back up with water, and then I can also clean up the top part a little bit better. I don't really have a plan in mind. We'll just see, see what needs to be trimmed and just remove it and just take it step by step. So let's go. Okay, I can only imagine what you guys are thinking, but trust me guys, this is going to be okay. Uh, it looks like a proper mess right now, but we will uh, we will get there. I still have a lot of work to do, but we did make good progress. Uh, we did miss a, bit, a big patch over there we missed, and a big patch over there we missed as well. This side is looking okay, you just need to shape it nicely. And then the lower section needs a lot of work still. So yeah, still a lot of... Time to go. Oh, I love those quarries. Hey guys. Constantly swimming as a group. Sorry to uh, mess up your home a little bit, but it's gonna get better. Okay, so it's been like an hour since I last recorded anything. The total time in this maintenance session is already three hours, but we're making good progress. I would say the most trimming is about 95% done. Still a few small things here and there. Um, one thing I still want to do is trim the hair grass in the back there and I also want to trim the stems more because now they're all very long but bare so it's like yeah it looks ridiculous just bare sticks so we're making good progress one thing I was kind of surprised with is the size of these booster philandra you don't you didn't really notice it because they're like partially covered with moss but now that they're all bare and they're more exposed they're huge so this is Bush of Alandra Green Wavy from Danela. So this is one of the easiest bush you can find and one of the fastest growing as well. So yeah, this is I think half a year worth of growth now. I think I sent this, set this tank up in oh no, in this in December. So it's more like eight, nine months. So, so yeah, I'll continue with the background a little bit more. And then we can do the final touches and also clean up the, the sand path a little bit here. And then we should be done. Okay, we are now four hours into this maintenance session. I'm, I'm beat. Uh, my back is killing me, but the trimming part is done. So I'm gonna take a little break. Then we come back, we do the final touches, and then the maintenance session is finally over. A few moments later. Okay, so the break lasted like two minutes. I need to get a move on because it's almost dinner time. Uh, so I removed the uh, filter inlet and outlet. They're soaking in bleach together with the diffuser. Uh, next thing I wanna do is remove the the calcium buildup that's on the edges of the glass. I used to always remove this just with a sponge, uh, but then yeah, you're sort of bringing it back into the water and I feel like it's just coming back faster. So what I've been doing lately is just using some plain old vinegar. This is the cooking stuff, not the cleaning stuff. Some vinegar on a piece of paper towel and then just, you can easily wipe it away and then at least it's gone, you know, at least you're not putting it back into the water. So 